I don't want to claim to be a film buff or anything. I don't have any credentials or what have you. But I've seen a lot of movies. And a lot of weird movies at that. And I've never seen anything that was quite like Jan Schlockmeyer's final film, Insect. I'll get into what makes this movie so unique in a second. But first, some background. I heard about Alice when I was about 14 years old on the Noxcast podcast. I went on to the World Wide Web and got myself a copy on VHS, and I gave it a watch. As the name suggests, it's an adaptation of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. You know, like the Disney movie. Alice is, well... A teď už mě nechte v klidu spát. Insane. Rather, it's fascinating. The stop motion haunts my nightmares. The sound design was, for lack of a better word, fucked. Maybe it was just a copy that I had, but this movie could go from dead quiet to THX logo volumes in half a second. And every single line of dialogue ended with a close-up of Alice's lips saying, said the white rabbit, in spite of, or maybe because of, all of these issues, I was still deeply engrossed by this movie, much to the chagrin of my friends and family. It wasn't until years later that I did some research, and I discovered... I miss... Insect is simultaneously a movie and a documentary about the making of itself. That might have sounded a bit confusing. To clarify, I'll provide an example. The first time this happens, a character is giving a speech when suddenly it cuts to footage of the actor on the set going over the speech with the director. They discuss some of the finer details of the scene, call action, and boom, we're back in the movie, like nothing ever happened. This is what I'm talking about. This is something that I haven't seen before. Let's rewind a bit. Even the opening scene of this movie is unconventional. After the opening credits of the movie, the opening scene is one of the director posing a question. If the authors of books get to write a foreword to their book, then why can't a director do the same? He goes on to give some history about the play that he's adapting and his intentions with this movie, just like the foreword in a book. With the precedent now set, the movie frequently stops to allow the audience to see behind the camera. They show all kinds of normally hidden material, such as idle chatter, interviews about the actor's dreams, multiple takes of the same shot, interviews with the director, and the work put into practical effects, occasionally before the effect itself. And there's something so surreal about when you're admiring the craftsmanship of the work, even if you don't quite understand what they're doing. And then, once the movie starts back up, it just clicks. Oh, that's what that was. And then you're right back in the flow of the movie. I won't go into the story too much, since that's not really why I'm talking about this movie, but I'll give it a brief setup. The movie is, ostensibly, an adaptation of a play. The play is about insect people living insect lives, a la Animal Farm. The movie, however, is about a small group of local actors who are rehearsing to perform the play. The production is troubled, to say the least. <laughs> The actors are inexperienced, and a few of them aren't even available for this rehearsal. The entire film is focused on one particular rehearsal session, and the play itself is only nominally in the film. The story follows a form of nightmare logic, wherein the characters will hallucinate about the insects they perform as in the play. However, these hallucinations, or fantasies, will often have lasting effects on the real world. Are they really happening? Are they a euphemism for more grisly events? Who cares? I don't, and neither does the director. He mentioned in the foreword that the film was written in a single sitting, channeling a stream-of-consciousness approach to a very stream-of-consciousness narrative. 
The structure of this film and the plot's relationship to its own source material enforce each other to facilitate a deep dive into the collaborative nature of the performing arts. The way that authors, directors, actors, effects artists each bring their own effort to the project, pushing and pulling and working to create what each of them wants to see. Finally, culminating in an adaptation that bears almost no resemblance to its source material, which itself was the subject of major rewrites after its release. I implore you to see this film, if only to celebrate the utterly unique quality of a film that is also a making-of documentary of itself. At least, I think it's unique. I personally haven't seen any other movie do this sort of thing. If you have, then please tell me about it in the comments below.